PJ, these clearly are, 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 are different looking games without Jimmy and without Bam, especially when it comes to the three point shot totals versus the free throw totals. Is this a sustainable way uh, to compete uh, 30 free throws over the last three games? Or if, is it sort of you just play your personnel? Just playing, man. We're not looking at the free throw disparity during the game, being aggressive, playing, figuring it out on the go. Well, there's no, can't just start trying to get free throws, you know, being aggressive, we're doing, making the right plays, doing what we're supposed to do. And we won two out of three games with free throw disparity. So yeah, we, we had a chance to win tonight. We could have still won the game. So. Coach said he spoke to you or spoke to the team before the game and thought because of the way they defend the threes would be there, especially for you in the power rotation. Did you go into the game thinking this might be a game where you might get a chance to load up for threes or at least have the opportunities? No, I knew I was going to get a lot of threes tonight. I was going to do even more. Um, the way they held off and left it open. Uh, yeah, we knew. This is the fourth game in a row, I think, with four more assists. Is this the most you've been asked to play make in your career? And I guess what flips with your approach offensively when they're in that role? Just opportunity. Yeah, you know, like just getting an opportunity and chance to be able to do it. <clears throat> a lot of teams playing on just there in the corner for spacing. Uh and now just, you know, the ball hammer the ball. Uh it's just it's just getting an opportunity to do it, that's all. Um, Omer was in here talking before. I know when you came to this team, you came to a veteran win now team of mostly veterans, and injuries happen, and all of a sudden kids start playing. And Omer said you've been invaluable to him. One, did you think you would come into a season with this roster having to mentor this much? And what's it like mentoring a kid like Omer who comes from summer league and then learns what the real NBA is like? Uh, it's different. I've been on mostly vet teams of like no young guys, so uh, we got a few and. Uh, but it's super cool, though. Those guys are uh, super, you know, energetic. They're just, you know, eyes wide open, just ready to learn and do whatever it takes and getting a chance to play. Um, so I think that's super cool. Um, it is different. It is different. You know, with Jimmy and Bam out, uh, next guy up mentality, guys having to step up and play. These, you know, they haven't been having really good games. You know, struggled a little bit today, but that's going to happen. There's growing pains in the league. Is it, the way you mentioned, forget the number, they won two of our last three. Is it really important to remain that even kill? Because, I mean, let's face it, you're going to get Jimmy back. Eventually, you're going to get Bam back. You're going to be the real Miami Heat. So, was this just a, ma a matter of let's maintain perspective? Better things are down the road. I think, it, I think this is great. Uh, I've been through this before where guys getting hurt. Um, where everybody else has to step their game up. But then when you get your guys back, guys that step their game up, now they're better when the guys do come back. So I think it, it all helps uh, when you get the complete team back. Everybody confidence is how playing well uh, and doing the right things. Um, like I said, it's growing pains. Uh, you know, you win some, you lose some, but you stay even kill, keep fighting for the next game. Show!